mining crew, subscribers, anyone who's watching who doesn't subscribe, morning to you all. It's morning to me right now, so I'm gonna say good morning, but you might be watching it at lunchtime or the afternoon, which isn't a problem. Good lunchtime and good afternoon, I guess. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit short this morning because I don't wanna I don't wanna flood everybody. It seems like my face is always there at the moment. I mean, it's not the best face in the world. Not exactly Brad Pitt. But the face isn't the problem. You need to concentrate on the message. The message is keep going, keep working hard. Come on. Keep trying to achieve what you're achieving, especially now. I was talking to someone yesterday who was saying, yeah, but the summer's coming, so we want to get fit, we want to lose some weight, we want to tone up. Well, if that's what you want, this is the place to be. A fitness hutch has got everything. Everything you need. But what I want to talk about this morning is negativity and positivity. I know this isn't about the weekend thing. This is just about why is negativity so popular? I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand how negativity, negativity on social media, YouTube, in life, why people seem to be driven by negativity. I think you get much better outcomes if you remain positive. That's why I try not to get a little bit, everyone gets a little bit where they're feeling a bit down or whatever, or unmotivated or something, but it just seems to be this culture at the moment. Everyone is negative, everybody looks unhappy. Everyone walks around with a face. You put, I go through YouTube at night at the moment, just more of a social experiment than anything. And keep going, Edstone. And I reckon 90% of the channels I come across, especially doing lives, people are moaning or having a go at somebody else or falling out with someone. And I just don't, you go on and there's hundreds of people in the comments agreeing and tearing each other down. I just, and it's draining, man. Like, go and just be positive. If you don't like someone, if you fall out with someone, just don't fucking talk to them. <laughs> or tell them. Tell them what the problem is. I think that's half the. I think that's half the battle. Like, I think there's so many people in society who will quite happily argue with someone over social media or over the phone or over text, but they won't sit down one to one with them and have a genuine conversation. I'm just. I don't get it. If someone's pissed you off, just tell them. If you don't like what someone does, if you don't like someone's channel, don't watch it. If you don't like someone's point of view, agree to disagree. Just because you disagree with something doesn't mean you have to dislike the person. Example, I've got some really religious friends. I'm not religious at all. But I don't try and bang on to them about how they need to change their faith, how they need to stop believing in God because he's not real. Because to them it is real, and whether or not in my mind I believe in God, who's to say that it's not real? Just because I don't believe it doesn't mean it's not real. Just because I have an opinion on something doesn't mean it's right. It's right to me. It doesn't necessarily mean it's right. I might, I might be really embarrassed when it comes to standing at them purdy gates and go, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? That's fucking wrong here. Sit. So, yeah, I just think it's really difficult. I don't know if you can see in the background on that wire. Somewhere, that little, can we do this? How do I go? Ah, oh, there, that little black dot there. That's a cormorant. Google cormorant, have a look at them. They're a beautiful bird. Normally three of them sit on that wire every morning. Anyway, one of them little things that makes these little morning walks worthwhile, to be fair. Seeing the, the wildlife, the fresh air and the smells and the sounds. 
makes you realize you're alive. It makes you feel positive. Come here, sit, sit, sit. I have been guilty of being negative at times. Um, and I still have times where I feel negative myself or I feel negatively towards something or someone and I will voice that and sometimes I don't think this don't think it's the end of the world if you're voicing opinions feeling negative or whatever but not fucking day in day out because that isn't how you promote positive mental health it just doesn't work if you do that what if if you are negative all the time that is going to resonate within your person and you're going to feel negative if you try and be more positive then you will feel more positive and things will be more positive Ooh, that's cleaned up down here i swept it all off and cut the grass it looks lovely look, nice cut grass i love the smell of cut grass in the morning Dog, oh it's pulling me a bit now look he wants to walk it's down here cut grass it smells gorgeous it smells like summer i know it's only spring but it smells like summer beautiful out here this morning as well gorgeous morning to be alive so tonight i will be live with beth um former drug addict in recovery single mum massive advocate for helping people with mental health issues and substance misuse issues i think it's going to be a really interesting conversation normally on thursday the pre-recorded podcast would drop um but we haven't recorded one this week because it's been a really busy week and we're we're trying to balance everything and with me being live on ricky's channel last night if you haven't been over to check out ricky killeen then the link is in my in my community post for that video it's not going anywhere so don't feel any pressure or any rush but it was a good podcast we enjoyed it we had a good conversation a little bit of negativity in the comments people don't seem to like prison officers <laughs> don't know why but um i think it, i think it went quite well and i think it showed that two people from very different backgrounds who have led very different lives can end up in very similar places um and that's the power of positivity so think about that today think about positivity think about yourself sometimes you've got to sit down and challenge your own thinking if you're watching this right now sit down and think can i be more positive can i have a more positive impact on the world on society can i have a more positive impact on myself on my friends on my family might not you might be an amazing positive person if you are awesome if you're not well let me know if you want to be and we'll help you out but for now, I'm going to go. Don't forget to check out the live tonight. I know that I'm flooding you guys a little bit, so if you're not there, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's going to be a good one, though. Right, the one you don't want to miss. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Speak to you all soon. Oh, <laughs> cheesy goals.